it's almost a bit of a birth type of metaphor. Being born into the world, born into the universe, born into our own cognition, um, and always sort of wrestling, grasping between our adulthood and ma our maturity and our immaturity and our vulnerabilities and that constant state of flux. Shuffle, Shake, Shatter is basically an Odyssean trilogy and the main character is an unnamed, starts out as basically a human man um, and the idea behind it was to create an exhibition that is the physical manifestation of the time between shuffle, shake, and shatter. So premiered in the exhibition is the shatter video, which is the third of the, the suite. So what happens in the actual exhibition is what happens for the main character between episode two and episode three. So this is the physical world that he ends up inhabiting before being back on video. We shot the first one in Germany. Um, so basically, he is dressing up as a clown. And he's wearing clown makeup. And we follow him through different places as he travels through the subway, to a nightclub, to his home, in his own bathroom. And he has this tick, almost, of putting on clown makeup and taking it off. And this finally results in a bit of an identity crisis. And that's where the first one ends. The second one, which was shot in Salvador de Bahia in Brazil, picks up the action where he is now um, coming, emerging from the ocean in a new land and he doesn't quite know where he is. So he travels through the city and he, he has encounters at a coffin shop where he confronts death. Um, he goes to a drag show where he is given some different clothing by uh, one of the angels at the drag show. Um, and then he meets a sage, a woman who lives in the favelas who sings a song to him about the gods of Africa and also imparts on him more knowledge in his quest. And so now, the final one is Shatter, which was shot in throughout Ethiopia. And in this one, he sort of transcends the notion of being, well, between this one and the second one, he transcends being um, a human male. He becomes sort of an alien type figure. And gradually, throughout Shatter, he leaves his body completely and becomes an aura or a spirit or part of the larger cosmos. The idea of the subjective cosmology is basically that cosmology, the universe, the galaxy that's within your own mind. We're all living in our subjective cosmology because we all live from the, sta the point of view of our own reality being what we experience. So in that respect, we are the center of the universe, of our own universe. Um, but in reality, we are just part of a multiverse.